today, I have not said one word to anybody. Talk about being alone, being isolated, being in a new country without knowing anyone or anything. Talk about being alone or lonely. People ask me all the time, Rachel, you're traveling the world, you're always on your own, you're always solo. Are you not lonely? I have two secrets for you, two secrets for you why I am not lonely and why you should not be lonely. Two things that help me always, anywhere in the world, really, only two things. I am not feeling lonely. So many people feel lonely and it leads to depression. It leads to um, early death even. That's kind of dark, isn't it? You know, I travel the world and I'm always on my own and I enjoy it so much. I recommend it to everybody. I even made videos about the reasons why you should travel solo. I made videos about how you can spend the holidays on your own and, and, and do things without needing other people all the time. We always think that we need other people around us, that we're, we're actually avoiding being alone. Tell me, be honest. Are you avoiding being alone? Are you avoiding to be by yourself? And what are you afraid of? Why are you so afraid of being by yourself? You know what the biggest reason is why people are afraid? Is because they are then feeling. Oh my gosh. You start feeling when you're really by yourself. You know, we're always so used these days to be in the noise, to be around people, to be busy. And our business, busyness, is our escape from being on our own, from being alone. But you know what? I heard this, this saying from Robin Sharma who said, tranquility is becoming the new luxury. We're always so busy and so surrounded and we need to be liked by everyone and we have this need for being popular and being seen and being out there but true happiness is really inside and not out there not outside not not with anybody else but inside inside ourselves inside our heart and if you can be by yourself and be alone without feeling lonely and being all negative and woo woo and cry baby and i don't know what about it that's where the true happiness is. So don't avoid it. The first thing is, shut down that inner critic. Shut down that inner critic. Because what is this, this inner mind thought telling you, this inner critic telling you, you're alone, you're lonely, that's negative, that's sad. Oh my gosh, you cannot be alone. That's your inner critic. Why is being alone so negative? As soon as you catch yourself, catch that inner voice telling you that it's negative and that it's sad and that you should not ever be alone, stop it right now. Stop that inner voice. Stop that inner critic. It is not negative. There is nothing negative about being alone. I'm traveling solo. I'm always on my own. I meet people. I do things. I but there, there is not one thought in my mind that is negative about it. And that's the first thing. The first thing is really shut down that negative voice and the perception that you have that being alone is negative, that being alone is wrong, that being alone is sad. And, 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 and a lot of people are just afraid of telling someone, oh, I'm going there alone. I'm going out alone. I'm going to that party alone. So what? As long as you perceive this negative, it will show. You will show it. People see it, that you're insecure, that you're not confident being on your own. You show it, you know, you're, you're, if you feel inside and you perceive it as negative and you perceive like, oh my gosh, alone means lonely, means sad, means you're a loser. No. If you think that your perception is so negative about being alone, that's what you will show and people will notice and you arrive at a party and they're like, oh my gosh, you arrived alone and you would be completely like, Ugh. yeah, and, and, and feel bad about it. I go to a party alone. I go inside malls alone. I go inside a restaurant alone. I go inside coffee shops on my own. And if people ask me something, yeah, yeah, I am. I, why would I lie about it? I'm alone. And it's actually great. 
I do what I want, I go where I want, I have the complete 100% freedom to do what I want, where I want, when I want. There is nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing. Sorry. <laughs> There's wind here and I think my phone is going to fall. So, nothing to be ashamed of. Catch that inner voice, that inner critic and shut it down and be okay with being alone. Yeah? That's number one. Number two. Number two, the social media mindfulness. Be mindful of social media. What do I mean by that? Why are we feeling lonely? Especially when we scroll down social media and we see everyone in a party and together with others and we just, what are we doing? We're comparing ourselves to others. We compare ourselves like they have it all, they're so successful, what a fabulous holiday, they're in a great relationship, <gasps> they look so nice and here I am, I'm alone. Stop doing that. Be mindful of social media. Social media, look, loneliness, the definition of loneliness is feeling disconnected, right? So you would think that social media is there to connect you again with each other, but social media, the truth, honesty is, it is disconnecting us from each other. Okay, I'm not, I don't want to be all too negative about social media. I'm on social media as well. I post there because what? Because you would never know me if I would not post on social media. But I'm not scrolling down, looking at others and feeling bad about it. No, I'm, I'm if I'm scrolling down, but I'm hardly scrolling down. I'm posting there, but I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm very selective of what I look at. But if I see others, yeah, cool. So what? It doesn't affect me. But the problem is when you scroll down social media and you're affected by it negatively, you feel bad because you see all the others and you feel, oh my gosh, I'm alone and they have all of this. Come on, come on. Don't compare yourself to others, especially not what you see on social media. People show their best and they hide their mess, but they're human beings just like you and me. Don't compare yourself. Do not compare yourself. If you dare compare yourself with others and feel bad about it, it means that you want to live somebody else's life. Do you want to live in the shadow of somebody else? Are you living somebody else's life? Will you grow old thinking, oh, I'm so happy I lived the life that they wanted? Or are you going to look back at your life and say, yeah, I lived the life that I wanted? Come on, you're unique. Be more confident. Be okay with being yourself. Start telling your own story, not somebody else's story. All of the social media are other people's story, not yours. So don't compare. Build your own story. Do your thing. Be confident. I love talking about this. I, I help my clients with this. You have to grow your confidence and it's possible. I'm not just saying it. I used to be super shy. I didn't talk to anybody and now I'm, I'm standing on stages. I'm speaking. Why? Why? I mean, why am I so comfortable with talking to strangers and to, to just do these things? Because I learned. I learned to be confident. I learned. It's a skill that you can learn. I learned to travel. I learned to step out of my comfort zone all the time. So I encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and be by yourself. Be alone and feel. The only way you can feel comfortable with it is by doing things. I made a lot of videos about overcoming fear and being more confident. I'm going to do a lot more about that because that's exactly how I help my clients too. Remember, if you like this video, to comment below, to subscribe to my channel because there's much more, much more out there and much more topics that I'm going to talk about. And look below in the description because there's lots of free resources that I always offer. Or subscribe to my, sign up on my website because I give tips all the time to be more confident, to live that life that you desire. Look, I'm here in Australia on my own. This is what I want. This is the life that I created for myself. Yes, I was stressed out and burned out in the corporate world. I know what it's like, but I chose this life of freedom and so can you. So be brave. Don't feel lonely ever again. Look at this video again. I encourage you. You're smart. You're unique. I love, I, I, I believe in you. So trust in yourself and believe in yourself. You can do this and I'll see you in the next video.